Welcome to those of you in sorry need of education. Today we will explore the history, the legend, of the most superior animal on the entire planet. <laughs> Not even close. Of the one million species that inhabit this planet, none elicit or deserve more respect and admiration than the cat. Sore loser. Clearly the cat, known scientifically as Felice Catus, is the most regal animal on the Earth. We can trace the history of the cat back to prehistoric times, a time when saber-toothed cats roamed the land. The mighty saber-tooth was master of the land, a great hunter, graced with keen senses of sight, hearing, and smell. When he spotted a delicious-looking prehistoric mouse, his feline instincts sprang into action. As his primitive cat cravings took over, he became a crazed beast, and nothing could stop him. Sadly, the saber-tooth was wiped out 13,000 years ago. Here's our next lesson. In ancient Egypt, cats were worshipped as gods and goddesses, as well they should be then and now. <sighs> we worship you. We adore you. We love your act. You rock. Thank you, thank you. Really, you shouldn't. But what am I saying? Yes, you should. And now we dance. <laughs> <laughs> ah, those were the good old days. Back when they knew how to treat a cat right. Hey, check this out. Back in the Middle Ages, the King of Wales proclaimed that cats were not only cute and clever, but also valuable. From this day forward, I decree that all cats are to be honored and protected. They are cute, clever, and most important, they are excellent at catching mice. Oh, hey, spin him off. Notice how cats love to eat mice. <laughs> Can he eat you? Thou shalt not? No, just playeth along. He's not good. <laughs> so began the myth that cats eat mice. Huh? Of course not. Use what little common sense you have, Pooch. Here's a mouse. Here's a pizza. Which one would you rather eat? It would be wrong. Very wrong to think the only value of a cat is to rid the world of mice. In fact, cats have been behind, if not directly responsible for, some of the greatest moments in history. For instance, back in the Arabian desert a long time ago. Here, my cat. I have packed your food in these handy bags made from the lining of a sheep's stomach. In here are some mice. Oh, yummy. Mice for me to eat. And this one is some goat's milk. Whew, that's a little better, but not much. Couldn't we stop off for Chinese food? The nearest place is only 3,000 miles away. Huh? Enough nomading for one day. We stop here. Boy, was it a hot one today. Since I'm not about to eat mice, I guess I'm stuck with this goat's milk. <laughs> hey, something's wrong with this stuff. Hey! It's solidified into ripened curds of soured milk. Does anyone have a cracker? Yes. <sighs> oh, no. oh, triple yum. I believe I've just invented a new food. Hey, give me some of that. This is a great invention. I shall call it cheese. Now he's giving cats credit for inventing cheese. That's ridiculous. Everyone knows cheese was invented by a mouse. But aside from inventing cheese, cats have made other great contributions to the world. For instance, Florence, Italy, 1503. The guy at the easel is Leonardo da Vinci. Yes, yes. 
I can see it coming together now. Not what you'd call a masterpiece. <laughs> Stop! Gato! Stop, little Topo! You will ruin the great painting I am doing, which is destined to hang forever in the galleries of the world! <laughs> Beautiful painting! Hey, calm down, Lenny. <laughs> it's not a that wonderful. I could paint a better painting with my tail. Now, what the shall I paint? I know, your sister a Shirley. Terrible! But the people who buy art have so little a taste. Good, Gato, good. What can I give you as a reward? Well, hundreds of years ago, my ancestors invented cheese. I was wondering if you, being Italian, of course, could combine it with tomato sauce and layers of flat pasta noodles, and then bake for, say, one hour in a 350-degree oven? Cat created lasagna. No, and painted the Mona Lisa. 1804, the study of the great composer Ludwig van no, no, Beethoven. No, 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 no. Nine, nine, nine. It's all wrong. Ah, hello, Amadeus. Have you caught any mice today? <laughs> Brilliant! Thank you, Amadeus. You deserve a tasty reward. <laughs> and that's the truth. A cat was responsible for Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Brilliant. He's taking credit for everything. What a Come on, guys. Please, cross that. It's me. What's all this talk about cats doing this and cats doing that? You make it sound like cats have done everything good. Hey, I can't rewrite history, can I? That's all you've been doing here. <laughs> Tell him the truth, Garfield. Well, it's mostly happened like... The truth, or we'll let John know how many pizzas you put on his credit card last month. All right, all right. <sighs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, there were a few details I left out of the stories I just told you. Hey, something's wrong with this stuff. It's solidified into ripened curds of sour milk. Stuff is tasty! I think I died and gone to heaven. Tasty! I think we should call this stuff cheese. Cheese? Why? Because uh, it looks more like cheese than anything else I can think of. Okay, everyone, let's record this moment in history. Everyone look at me and say, cheese! And that story about Leonardo da Vinci? Well, it was true what I said. Sort of. She's a ruined! <laughs> yeah, sure looks of that away. Maybe you should try painting clowns or Elvis on black velvet. Hey, I know how to fix that. Actually, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Hello. Yeah, he's here. It's for you, the Louvre in Paris. They heard about your new painting. News travels fast in the world of art. The Louvre? The Louvre? Why, that is the greatest art museum in the world. Little Topo, I want to reward you. I want to cook something wonderful for you. Well, I had this idea for something called lasagna. Lasagna? No. No one will ever want to eat a something called uh, lasagna. Who knew? And then that story about Beethoven and his fifth symphony? Amadeus, there is a mouse in here. Boy, for a guy who doesn't hear so good, he's good at hearing mice. <laughs> hey. Take it outside, fella. 
Now I have to chase him, I guess. Oh, it's no use. I do not even know how to start my fifth symphony. Maybe I should skip it and move on to my sixth. Right. That is it. Da, 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 da. Genius. Thank you, little mouse. Thank you. So you see, though cats have made their contribution to history, so have mice. Garfield, that was terrific. We misjudged you. You're a pretty honest cat. Yeah, it takes a big cat to do something like that. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, No, of course we're not going to put that stuff about mice on the air. We'll edit it out and just show the part about how great cats are. This DVD is the show we just did. I'm supposed to send it to the network so they can broadcast it to the whole country. But I won't. That one goes in the trash. Instead, I'm sending them this one, in which I edited out all the my stuff and just left in the part about how great cats are. No, it's not unfair. It's just sneaky. Besides, name me one smart thing mice have ever done. Well, for one thing, we're really good at switching videos. <laughs> There you are. I just wanted to tell you I'm going to the market. Oh, great. Uh, bring me back one of everything, large economy size. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay. Ah! Oh, make sure you keep an eye out for... <laughs> That's silly. I was going to tell you to watch for mice. <gasps> Who's not hiding? But we haven't had a mouse in this house for months. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Hey, you're the owner of this, uh, this house? I think so. My cat might disagree. Well, I'm Pulver of Pulver Extermination. We have reports of mice in this neighborhood. Oh, not in my home. <laughs> well, I doubt that. But if you do see any mice, give us a call. We're fast and we're ruthless. Well, I'll take your card, but I won't need it. Not with Garfield on the job. I could swear I'm hearing the kind of music mice like to dance to. Hey, Squeak, another one of your relatives just arrived. Hey, family is family. Okay with you, Garth? Well, as long as they don't touch my food or interrupt my sleep, they're welcome. Great. Who is it? My Uncle Howard? My nephew Morris? It's your cousin Max. My cousin Max? What, something wrong with cousin Max? Oh, my cousin Max is bad news, and he hates cats. Ah, oh, come on, you're funning me. Nobody hates cats. Squeak! What are you doing with that... that... cat? Huh? Oh, don't worry, cousin. I'll protect you from him. I mean martial arts. hi hi <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. We may finally have a character on this show more annoying than normal. I don't have to be protected from Garfield. He's my buddy. Whoa, your buddy? Are you out of your mouse mind? He's a cat. You know what cats do to mice. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, they do a mean salsa dance with them. No! They eat them with salsa! You've got a lot to learn, Squeak. Well, what should I do now, eat or sleep? <sighs> sleep. I'm telling you, Max, Garfield's not like other cats. He doesn't eat mice. Oh, well then, what does he eat? Uh, everything else. I can see you need a serious lesson, cousin. Come on. There's gotta be a player somewhere around here. Hey, watch this, cousin. You're about to learn a valuable lesson. Cats, what are they good for? They lie around all day, sleeping and clawing the drapes. So far, no argument. And generally doing nothing. And then there's the most horrifying thing they do. Cats eat mice. Argument. And they do it in the cruelest way possible. A cat catches a mouse. Does he just eat it and get it over with? No. He has to play with his food, draw out the agony. So he lets the mouse go, then he catches it again. And he lets the mouse go, then he catches it again. Now turn it off! Turn it off! It's for your own good, cuz. And then, when the mouse thinks he's gotten away, thinks his life has been spared, the cat strikes. No! No! Turn it off! Turn it off! I wouldn't do something like that! It wouldn't! He's a cat! Cats eat mice! Are you gonna let this happen? Are you gonna do nothing? Well, this cat sharpens his claws and his teeth. <laughs> I've seen what he can do to a 10-pound standing rib roast. Imagine what he could do to one of us. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not going to stand around and become rodent-flavored cat food. Uh-uh. Oh, uh -uh, me neither. Oh, yeah, absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, I'm yeah, out of yeah, here. I'm out of here. This is Are you moving or am I? I think it's me. <laughs> hey guys, you want to explain this? No! Uh, apparently not. Okay, I don't know what this is all about, but I'm not letting a bunch of rodents throw me out of my own home. Hey, if you think you're getting me out of this house... Uh, you're making a very accurate prediction. You're not getting us, Cat! Come near us again, and you'll be sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. You tell him, you tell him. I gotta do something about this, but not now. <sighs> I'm gonna take this bus into town and go to Vito's. I'm on my break, Cat. Can you wait for five minutes? Considering pizza's involved, no. But I guess I have to. I'm telling you, unless you're a lasagna or rather fattening food, Garfield is harmless. He's a cat, and cats are not harmless. Relax, Squeak. With him gone, we have nothing to worry about. Mice! My house is full of mice! Nothing to worry about, huh? Everyone, hide! Garfield! Garfield! Oh, he's no use. How am I going to get rid of these... Garfield would have protected us. Cats don't protect mice. Besides, what can that guy do to us with no cat around? Mr. Palmer, how soon can you be here? Ooh. Yeah, that'll be fast enough. about, because there's no cat around, huh? Relax. I can handle this guy. Hey, you get out of here. Oh, I'll have to get rough with this. One of Odie's toys. Maybe... Hey. Oh. Garfield, Garfield, where are you? I 
hope at least he's reading the comic pages. Garfield, you gotta help us. There's this guy, this exterminator. He's got all my friends. Your friends threw me out of my own house. I know, I know. They didn't mean it. Well, they did mean it, but they were scared and... Relax, relax. While I was waiting for the bus, I figured out how I was gonna get back inside. You got that for Halloween last year, didn't you? Yeah, but it didn't work so well. I didn't get any candy, I just got a lot of cheese. Okay, now you wait here. <laughs> that big meanie doesn't stand a chance. I think I've got them all now, and... Yahoo! Is the vacuum on your back as big as the one on your head? <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> I'm gonna need another canister to hold him. Yahoo! And for him, <laughs> I'm gonna need my machine to be on max power. Ladies and gentlemen, a brief chase scene. Run! <laughs> Run like the rat you are! <laughs> There's no way to hide, Mouse. Hey, pal, you missed one. What's that? One I missed. I'll capture him, then I'll get you. Hmm. Guess that cat changed his mind. It's that toy mouse again. And what's this cable attached to it? <laughs> stop! I can't unstrap this device! Help! Stop! <laughs> You saved us! Guess we were wrong about you! Yeah, we sure were. Hey, uh, Garfield, I'm not really good at saying I'm sorry. Oh, you just need to practice. You gotta say it more often. <laughs> hey, uh, we were thinking, since you're already dressed for it, we'd like to make you an honorary mouse. <laughs> oh, well... Just so long as I don't have to eat any really stinky cheese. I don't know where that exterminator went, but he did a great job. <sighs> I'll bet there isn't a mouse within miles of here. <laughs> I'll be back in a while. <laughs> Anything I need to get at the market? <laughs> A list of everything. Okay. Do you think we'll ever see that exterminator guy again? Probably not. I made a mistake. That wasn't the bus to Vito's Pizza. It wasn't? Well, where was it going? Well, let's just put it this way. Down there, they dance like this. Ah, 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 ah,
Regardez les vaches J'ai promis à Denis qu'on l'aiderait avec les corvées Les corvées Sans parler de ces satanés coques qui vous réveillent à 5 heures du matin Mon j'en attrape un Une seconde, je dois fermer la voiture Alors, tu t'es vraiment débarrassé de la télé, Denis Impossible de s'occuper de toutes les corvées avec un tel engin Et euh, au fait, ne m'appelle pas Denis Denis, Denis, Denis mmh. J'ai l'impression que Garfield n'a pas l'intention de nous donner un coup de main Ça m'est égal que Garfield soit paresseux Ici, tout le monde a sa part de corvée Alors, faudra qu'il y passe D'ailleurs, il est bon à quoi, dis-moi Oh, manger des lasagnes, euh, dormir, euh, manger plus de lasagnes Désormais, tu n'entends plus que le son de ma voix Si tu me comprends, fais... Ah, oh, c'est le docteur Whipple Il s'occupe de... De... De quoi déjà, docteur Hypnose subliminale bovine Ça les aide à augmenter le taux de sucre dans le flux quotidien de lactose mmh. Oui, oui, j'hypnotise les vaches pour qu'elles donnent du lait sucré Pas vrai, ma belle mmh. Ma technique aide les vaches à changer leur état d'esprit Vous voyez, le résultat est surprenant, vous pouvez me croire Hmm, changer d'état d'esprit, hein J'aurais besoin de quelque chose comme ça pour encourager mon chat à faire les corvées de la ferme euh, Eh bien, sur un chat, les corvées de la ferme... Euh, oui, ça doit marcher Tu sais ce qu'ils veulent me faire faire, Audi des corvées Tout le monde sait que les chats ne travaillent pas C'est pour ça qu'on a inventé les humains Je vais pas faire tout leur boulot, moi Garfi On a une surprise pour toi Nous avons pensé à toi Nous savons à quel point tu aimes regarder la télé La télé Oh, mais c'est presque aussi bon que les lasagnes Vite, 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 la télé, la télé notre ami le docteur Whipple a une télé un peu particulière pour toi euh, Ils vont essayer de m'hypnotiser Impossible Je suis trop malin pour être hypnotisé. C'est formidable Garfield qui s'endort, rien de surprenant jusqu'ici Garfield, tu n'es pas un chat, tu es... Tu es un singe Vous avez entendu Incroyable Il pense que je suis un singe Il s'en va Venez m'aider Docteur Whipple, vous devez faire quelque chose T'es sûr, John Parce que les bananes, c'est plus facile à préparer que les lasagnes Tu as raison, Audi Docteur Whipple Garfield, désormais, tu n'es plus un singe hey, C'est fou Il est vraiment persuadé qu'il m'a transformé en singe Je... Oh. 
j'espère que ça va, Garfield. Tu es un excellent sujet d'étude. Oh oui À partir de maintenant, tu n'entends plus que le son de ma voix. Et tu m'obéis. Si tu m'as compris, dis miaou Miaou Très bien Dès que tu entendras le son de cette corne, Garfield, tu deviendras le chat le plus travailleur, le plus acharné à la tâche que le monde ait jamais connu. Moi, vais aimer, travail. Et quand tu entendras la corne à nouveau, tu retourneras à ton état normal. Moi, redevenir normal. Vous me faites perdre mon temps avec vos histoires, du temps que je pourrais employer à faire quelque chose de plus important. Comme dormir, par exemple. Corvée. J'ai des corvées à faire. <rire> Ramasser la paille. Couper du bois. Ramasser les œufs. Ah Étonnant, n'est-ce pas C'est peu dire. J'ai vu des soucoupes volantes, j'ai vu le monstre du Loch Ness. Mais alors Garfield qui travaille, ça dépasse tout. Je dois donner à boire aux vaches Tu sais quoi Ça doit être le meilleur fermier que j'ai jamais vu Et conduire le cheval au pré On va pouvoir se reposer un peu, Donny Bonne idée Je propose que nous allions déjeuner Et arrête de m'appeler Donny Donny, Donny, Donny ah une minute, j'ai complètement oublié de planter le maïs. Tiens, il laboure le champ au nord. Mmh. Quel sandwich Dis-moi, tu ne m'avais pas dit que la télé était rangée dans la grange Je l'ai rentrée. On peut la regarder maintenant que Garfield s'occupe de tout à notre place. Tiens, tiens, il s'occupe du champ au sud maintenant. C'est formidable quel bonheur de retrouver mes émissions favorites Maintenant, il est en train de labourer le champ à l'ouest en même temps que celui à l'est Docteur Whipple, combien de temps vous pensez que ça va durer C'est simple, jusqu'à ce qu'il entende le son de la corne Après ça, je dois changer la boue des cochons et les nettoyer à l'éponge aussi Qu'est-ce qui m'est arrivé J'adore les corvées Je dois faire les corvées Mais qu'est-ce que je raconte Je hais les corvées Non Je dois faire plus de corvées John, c'est pas l'alarme de ta voiture qu'on entend Aucun problème, ça fait ça de temps en temps Elle va s'arrêter toute seule Je dois ramasser ces délicieux légumes Avant que les animaux ne viennent les manger Délicieux légumes Mais pour qui je me prends un lapin il faut que je répare le toit de la grange. Mais qu'est-ce qui m'arrive Il faudrait vraiment que je sois plus stupide qu'Audi pour monter sur ce toit. C'est la meilleure, celle-là. Je suis plus stupide qu'Audi. Ah, 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 et tout aussi maladroit. Ah 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 je suis sûr que c'est à cause de cette machine hypno machin chose. Ça va pas se passer comme ça. Oh, Cathy, tu es le soleil de ma vie. Toi aussi, Gilbert, tu es le soleil de ma vie. Marions-nous et après on mange les chips. Au vinaigre ou au fromage Au piment. J'adore les chips au piment. Oh. Oh. Un autre sandwich, John. Avec plaisir, Donny. Ah, merci. Et euh, enfin, tu sais. Oui, je ne dois pas t'appeler Donny. Et maintenant, mesdames et messieurs. Interruption des programmes. Garfield Mais enfin, si ma machine a hypnotisé, il va. Il va. Bien, maintenant, c'est l'heure de la gym. Faites ce que je fais et sans broncher. Un, deux, un, deux, un, deux. 
Tiens, qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur les autres chaînes Oh, le monstre s'est enfui Vite, courez Le monstre va nous dévorer Voyons voir sur quelle chaîne passe cette émission déjà Ah, voilà, c'est bien ça, chaîne 99 le chat est un animal sensible et délicat. C'est pour cette raison que vous devez lui donner tout ce qu'il désire. Prendre soin de lui. Et lui donner de la nourriture de qualité. Un bon lit bien douillé. Vous savez, je crois que finalement, j'aime bien les week-ends à la ferme. Un peu plus d'air, Je trouve qu'il fait un peu chaud. I eat and sleep all day, but today, I think I'll sleep and eat, just for a change. <gasps> but what if it's Monday? Monday, the worst day of the week. Monday, the day horrible things happen. Monday. <laughs> you get the concept? I don't like Mondays. Please don't let it be Monday. Please don't let it be Monday. <gasps> not Monday. All right. Life could not better be. I'm healthy. <laughs> the refrigerator's filled with all my favorite food. And best of all, it's not Monday. I hope it'll be not Monday all year. So, what shall I do to celebrate it not being Monday? Hmm. I think I'll make myself two small sandwiches. On this show, these are considered small sandwiches. <laughs> yes, I am the luckiest cat in the world. <gasps> hey, laughing boy. What's with the long face? The sun is shining, the sandwiches are delicious, and best of all, it's not Monday. I have nothing to smile about. The world is rotten. Everything stinks. Huh? Hey, you have a nice day, too? Well, as I was saying, I am the luckiest cat in the world. <laughs> uh, the people who make rakes should recall them all to the factory. Those things are dangerous. <sighs> now to watch my favorite TV show, The Wrong and the Tasteless. The Wrong and the Tasteless will not be seen today, so we may bring you the nine-hour award-winning documentary, Your Friend, The Raisin. Uh, what? <laughs> you stupid television! I want to see my show! Put it on! Put it on! Hmm. Hey, I never noticed this warning label before. Caution, do not pound on the TV or it may explode. So maybe it isn't the greatest day. Hi, Garfield. You don't look so happy. 
that might be because I'm not so happy, but I was. Things were so perfect. Hmm. You didn't by any chance see a black cat go by, did you? <gasps> yeah, a little while ago. Real sad guy looked kind of like this. <sighs> uh-huh. Jonah. Oh, Jonah? He's a jinx, that guy. Once he crosses your path, it's bad luck forever, and there's nothing you can do about it. In fact, I shouldn't even be around you. Hey, hey there's no such thing as jinxes and bad luck. Hey, look, I'm standing right here and nothing around. What could happen to me? I don't know, but something will. What? Do you think a meteor is just gonna drop out of the sky on me? <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> It could have happened to anybody. Listen, Garfield, I think it'd be safer to be a little farther away from you. How far? Well, I hear Argentina's lovely this time of year. Help! Get me away from this guy! Somebody save me! I wish I could run away from me like that. Oh, I'm having a lot of bad luck. What I need is a good luck charm. I think there's one in the basement. John left some sort of good luck charm down here, like a four-leaf clover or a rabbit's foot. Ah, here's one. His old horseshoe. <clears throat> to get the maximum luck from a lucky horseshoe, kiss it and throw it over your left shoulder. Hey, I don't believe in this stuff either, but it's worth a try. Mwah. Hey, what's that buzzing? Sounds like someone dislodged a nest of angry hornets. Hey, no wonder it sounds like someone dislodged a nest of angry hornets. Phew! Well, apart from the fact that it stinks in here, I'm safe. Actually, it doesn't smell that bad. It smells kind of like John's old meatloaf. Ah, this is John's old meatloaf. Hmm. You know, with a little ketchup, this wouldn't be half bad. Hey, didn't you see the sign that says Occupy? <laughs> I am not having a good day. Stopped. At last, maybe I'll get out of here. Huh? Whoa! Ah! Oh. oh, I've got to find that black cat and get him to undo this bad luck curse. Oh. I am gonna find him, and nothing is gonna stop me. There was a flower pot. That was a hammer. <laughs> that was a recurring character. If I don't find Jonah Pronto, I'm toast. Problem is, with my bad luck, I'm never going to find him. Unless... Huh? I'll bet Jonah crossed lots of people's paths. So all I have to do is follow the trail of bad luck. Yep, the jinx came this way. I'm getting closer and luckier. It's been a whole minute since I've had any bad luck. Maybe I'm no longer cursed. Boy, imagine how bad a day this would be if it was Monday. Hey, my God! Ah, it's no use. I'll never find him. I'll have bad luck the rest of my life, which at this rate won't be very long. But maybe not. Jonah, I found you at last. 
Don't tell me, let me guess. Since I crossed your path, you've had nothing but bad luck. Bingo! Hey, lift the curse, please! I would if I could, but I can't. I've been this way, spreading bad luck since the day I got gloomy. That was the day she dumped me. Who dumped you? Mindy. She was my girlfriend. The only woman I ever loved. Well, maybe if we get the two of you back together, you'll cheer up and the curse will be lifted. You can take her some fruit. Forget it. She won't have me. She made that very clear. Well, maybe I can make her change her mind. Come on, let's go find her. <laughs> Petrona, would you mind helping me out? Usually, she comes out now for her evening stroll. Well, I sure hope so. Want a grapefruit? Is that her? Yes. <gasps> Isn't she beautiful? Juno, what are you doing here? I said I never wanted to see you again. <clears throat> Can't you give a guy a chance? Uh, look at him. He's such a downer. He's always gloomy and he never smiles. I got the press feet around him. Now go away, both of you. Here, maybe a slice of grapefruit will cheer you up. Not true, Mindy. Jonah does smile. <laughs> Look at him. Wow. He looks so handsome with a smile on his face. Okay, now tell her you love her. I love her, Cindy. I can't really catch her. Oh, Jonah, I didn't understand a word. But I'm so pleased to see a beautiful smile. All is forgiven. Well done, Joni. You did it. Whoops, you swallowed your smile. I should have known it wouldn't last. You can't help being gloomy, can you? Ah, he'll never change. And since he'll never change, my luck will never change. You think he's gloomy? You should see how I feel. <sighs> Goodbye. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh my! It's the first time I've seen you laugh, Jonah! Well, I think it's the first time I have laughed. And you know what? <laughs> it feels good! Oh, Jonah! Maybe we could be together again. Wow! My luck is really changing! <sighs> I hope mine does. So this all happened last night? Yep, Jonah and Mindy got back together, and he got happy and he stopped being a jinx, and my bad luck went away. That's terrific, Garfield. Congrats. Garfield, what happened? I thought the jinx of Jonah was lifted. It is, unfortunately. Now it's Monday. Oh, I hate Monday.